Hello, my name's Jaleez. Welcome now, everybody, to my Assassin's Creed Odyssey book review. Here's the thing, everybody. I always said this, like, I always wanted to read the Assassin's Creed Odyssey book because, again, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, unlike Origins, was a true RPG game. You know, you have your own different choices and all this stuff. So this is the complete novelization, so this is the complete ending, this is the complete lore. And this is uh, for spoilers, so if you haven't read the book or you haven't, you know, uh, to me... If you want to go, if you want to know about the RPG elements and all this stuff, go. If you want to know about story, go play the game. But if you're ready to play the game, and also if you just want to know what it is, here's the thing: it's mostly the good ending. All the good choices Cassandra does is in this book. The only thing that changes is that Alexio does die, and she and he dies by Cassandra's hand. As Stentor and uh, and her uh, stepfather and all this stuff live. And they welcome, and Cassandra's with her mother at the end. But Alexios is killed. He, you choose a path of killing him in this one. And so yeah, that's the main thing. All the good, all the good shit that happens in this entire video game, all the good stuff that Cassandra does, all the good choices she does. You know, killing the um, Minotaur and Corinthia and all that stuff. Not the Minotaur, but killing that that, that big ass uh, fucking uh, cult member. And Corinthia silently and all this stuff. You do the more logical decisions and you do all the uh, more the other reasons. You do all the good choices and all the logical reasons in this entire book. So all the stuff for the RPG stuff, that's what happens. There is slight differences. You know how like in Assassin's Creed 2, I told you how Ezio's family's death is different in the books than in the video game? In the books, he the, every single one of uh, Alexio's uh, family members, the, his two brothers and his father... They're killed one at a time. One child's hanged, another child's hanged, and uh, Giovanni is hanged at the end. And this one is kind of different for one character, uh, which is Brasidas. Brasidas is killed by uh, Alexios or Deimos through the back. He sees Cassandra, he salutes her, and then he gets speared to the back. And then he's lifted up and dies. And in the video game, he has a good fight with uh, Alexios, and he dies like that. So there is slight, that's like the only slight difference. And the other thing, there's kind of like a wishy-washy ending with Aspasia, you know, the leader of the cult and all that stuff. In in the book, it's like she disappears out of the shadows and then like, and Cassandra was going to her. And in the video game, there's never a version of that where she just lets her, like, she charges at her and then she just disappears. I believe there was a version where she just lets her go and all that stuff. So it's slight different endings, just a tiny bit with uh, Aspasia and uh, Brasidas and all that stuff. So overall, this entire book, I enjoyed. I enjoyed, because here's the thing, I enjoyed the Assassin's Creed Odyssey book. I, I enjoyed the Assassin's Creed Odyssey video game. I liked the story, I liked the RPG element, the choices we made, and to see that in this book, to see what choices we made, at the end, to me, basically, you don't really need to, the only reason why I got this, because it was an RPG, like a video game, and it was because the book. So I want to know the true actual lore and all that stuff. So the true actual lore is, Cassandra does kill Alexios at the end. That's a major spoiler I could give for you guys and all that stuff. There's, other than that, if you just want to read a book, go ahead and read a book. But I basically gave you the three major uh, things that basically change and all that stuff. Oh, and the only other thing that really changes is, you know how in the RPG you have this open world that you meet? If you find your mother, then you see your, uh, meet your father from the Lance and all that stuff. In the timeline, uh, Cassandra's dealing with all this stuff with her family. At the end, uh, the, uh, her mother reveals about Cassandra's parentage, about uh, the guy, the bloodlines, and all that stuff. We get to explanation as to what the pyramid is and all that stuff. You know, the East 2 artifact, how you can see different possible events of futures and pasts and all that stuff. And only certain members of the bloodline can use it. We get a little bit, also a tiny bit more backstory into the Call to Cosmos, just a tiny bit. But overall, this book didn't really add much to Assassin's Creed Universe lore and all this stuff. We just got established. It's just an establishment that to which we kind of already figured and all that stuff. But to me, this is not my least favorite book of the Assassin's Creed books I've read. But it's a skip and Once you read it, it's not a point to go back to it. This is kind of like Assassin's Creed Revelations and kind of like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for me a bit. So I would say like the ending was just changed a bit for me to want to watch it, to read this book again. But overall, I don't think I'll ever go back to this book. I enjoyed it. I think it was a good uh, story. Uh, overall, it's because it's based off the video game. And basically, again, when you're doing an RPG game, you're just going to read the book to buy the books just so you can learn about what's the true ending or what's the true story. But for that, you could just go online to Assassin's Creed Wiki. And all that stuff. Then you could get the simple answers right there. But to me, this was a... Uh, I was I was excited to read it. And I left it like... Eh, I know the ending. But it was straight up based off the video game. 
if he did all the good versions in the video game, so that's what I did. So much, uh, much of the stuff didn't change except in my version of the video game, Alexios lived. So overall, I would uh, say this book is definitely not a worth that to read again. I would not recommend it. It's just an okay book. It's an okay book that I say it's my bottom three of the Assassin's Creed books right now. But overall, that's what it is, everybody. It's like, I don't know what to say. I'm not saying it was a great book. It was a good book. It was just, it was just there. I'm like, okay, I, I, I read it just to get the true story. Now that I got the true story, I'm like, well, I followed that most of the true path anyway. Just looks like little differences here at the end. But, all right, okay. I won't say it was worth it. Hey, I won't say it was exactly worth my time, but it wasn't exactly a waste of my time during quarantine. But okay, what, what can I say, everybody? So let's ask you to see the book. Let me know what y'all think. Come on, subscribe if you'd like. Discord in the bottom link, comment down below. Let me know. Respect your opinion, respect yours. Where's your personal opinion about this? Ask you to see the book, everybody. Name's Jaleesa. I've everybody. Bye bye.